You guys are so welcome to agriscaping.com. It's Tasty Tuesday, and we've got this little beauty. So no matter how hot it gets, this is actually one of the best, most healthy volunteers you could ever find in your garden. Some people might call it a weed, but this little guy is actually called purslane. And this, uh, the wild varieties are actually one of the more healthy ones. That there's a lot of better flavor to it as well. And I'm here with my guys from Special Needs Services. We'll come over here and. Uh, we're gonna have them taste this thing and then we'll show you where it was growing and stuff. I mean, you can see right here, we're up against a pretty hot wall and these guys have been doing a lot of hard, <laughs> hot work today. All right, so everybody gets to try a taste. See right. what you guys think. Tell me what you think it tastes like. What do you think? Hmm. Tastes like grass. Tastes, tastes like, like grass? Salad. Yeah. Salad? Salad? Yeah. Now, taste that little aftertaste. So as you're, as you're chewing it, it's got a little bit of an aftertaste to it. Tangy, sweet, what do you think? Like romaine lettuce almost. Like romaine lettuce? Yeah. So there we go. So definitely an edible, something you can easily add into your salad. I think it sometimes has a little bit of a lemon aftertaste on it, like a little bit of tang to it. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Devin? I can detect that. Can you detect can detect that. That's I good. I can detect the tang. So one of the beautiful things about this particular thing, you can eat pretty much all of it. The stems, everything, the stems have a little more of that lemony flavor to it. No, there you go. I probably should have asked before I just stuffed the whole thing in my mouth. You just stuffed the whole thing? <laughs> You're supposed to just eat one leaf at a time. No, but this purslane, high in omega-3 fatty acids. I mean, for a plant, it's the highest, one of the highest percentages of omega-3 fatty acids, which everyone's trying to eat fish oils in order to get. So this is a non-meat source, to, especially when it's summer out time. Meat is something that heats up the body and veg and greens actually help cool down the body. So if you're gonna be eating something you wanna stay cool in the summertime, this is a great one to help with those omega-3 fatty acids which help improve brain function and a lot of other cool things, which we all need. Who needs brain function? I do. Yeah, I we're don't. game for it. I've, I've, I've been without it for a couple of years. You've now. been without it for a while? Well, it turns out you don't need it, apparently. <laughs> all right, so let me show you where we found this and what it's among. So there's a few other things in there. So we're right here in a little bed, let me just turn the camera around. This might make it easier. So this stuff literally grows just about anywhere. Now, why I'm wanting to show you this particular spot, normally it's growing in a you know, nice rocky area and stuff, but you can see it has a kind of a central core, and then it grows out from there. It kind of mounds up. It's a pretty plant all by itself, but you don't want to confuse this purslane with actually this stuff that's right here. This is what we call spurge, and this stuff is uh, not something you want to be eating. It's not going to really help you out much at all. It's certainly not, but it does make a nice little 